Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Cup Fighters, and in uh, today's episode we are gonna play the Advanced Cup, and uh, you know, I have, uh, I think this is the fourth episode now, and this is the first time we do the Advanced Cup, uh, you know, I have won it several times, but this is the first time we do Cup Fighters on it, so, uh, you know, we're playing with our BBVA Beast Squad, as I called it, it was a uh, squad which cost me around 200k, I believe, it was a 4-3-2-1, uh, with uh, Diego Alves on goal, the Valencia keep really good stats, 90 diving, 91 reflexing and then uh, right back we had inform Jesus Gamas I think his name is or Jesus Gamas I think I should pronounce it like that he is the right back for Malaga you know pretty decent I uh, I didn't like Joe Pereira you know who is a uh, an obvious choice I didn't have the coins for Dani Alves so I went with this inform instead and he actually played really good for me so that's uh, only good then uh, center backs we have uh, PK, who's really, really, really good, uh, really solid, uh, you know, he does lack a bit of pace, but, you know, apart from that, he's really, really good, and the other centre-back was Pepe, who's also a bit of a monster, just like in real life, of course, and then, uh, left-back, we are Jordi Alba, the Barcelona man, 91 pace, you know, he seems to be everywhere on the pitch, which can only be a good thing, uh, and then on the midfield, we had Alex Song as our defensive mid, and uh, we had Modric as Kaká as our two attacking mids. So a uh, good pairing up there. And then uh, up front, we had David Villa, who has got a lethal shot for a left winger or a left forward in this case, because I think he has 87 shooting. And then at right forward, we have uh, Jesus Navas or Jesus Navas, and. Um, He's he, you know he's the pacey guy up front, uh, 92 pace, four star skill as well, just like David Villa, Kaká, and Modric, and uh, you know he uh, he was a perfect player on the right wing, and then at strike we had the most expensive player of the squad, who was uh, Karim Benzema, uh, 87 rated the uh, the Madrid striker, uh, really clinical finisher I must say, I think he's one of the best uh, players uh, I've used on Ultimate Team so far, I really really enjoyed him. It was uh, he was about 60k though, but you know it was really uh, some uh, some well spent coins. And you can see here in the first app, uh, first game uh, we came up against this poor chemistry side, and he decided to rage quit at a uh, uh, what was it a seven nil score. So pretty <laughs> comfortable uh, game to start off with, and uh, you know if we go into the quarter finals here, uh, we'll. Um, I think we'll match up with a. Uh, uh, I don't. I can't remember actually. Let's let's just see what's happening. Okay, you know we're searching for an opponent now. Uh, although there were no opponents uh, found the first time we uh, we searched again, it seemed to be a time when there were not loads of people on on the on the tournament. I guess because uh, you know it took me quite a while to. Uh, to find the games, as you can see with this game, but I think also the first and the third. Can't remember uh, exactly though, but uh, that's not the point here. Anyway, the second game we came up against this 4 1 2 into Argentinian side. Yeah, some. some okay players but it wasn't the strongest of squad and uh, we took the lead in the uh, fourth minute already as his keeper makes a mistake. Modric picks it up, crosses in and uh, Jesus Navas applies the finish. Uh, you know, just just a good goal there. Then in the 31st minute, it was Benzema on the ball near post. OP finish. Uh, you know, it's a it's a brilliant way of scoring goals. You know, don't always go for like the uh, the far post finish. Just go for the near post because keepers are usually uh, not really good position. And as you can see, we took advantage of his keeper rushing out and we put the ball into the back of the net with Alex Song. Then. Um, we actually conceded the goal here as Pepe lost the ball in the defense and uh, Javier Pastore, the PSG man, uh, slotted it home with his left foot. You know, good finish and uh, nothing my keeper could do about that. Then, um, uh, a bit later, we set up an attack here as Modric goes past a ma uh, his, uh, uh, yeah, man, I guess. David Villa comes back inside and he rushed his keeper out again because I think uh, he was a bit mad because I was dominating him this game. And uh, we took advantage of that to the fullest and we scored again. Then here you can see he rushed out his keeper again. He uh, His keeper did get the first tackle win on Benzema, but uh, Jesus Navas applied the finish and to the empty net anyway. And uh, this is the second opponent that that rage quit it. So uh, you know, we, uh, it starts out to be a, a bit of a rage quit galore, as you could put it like that. Because uh, we've played two games now, and both uh, of my opponents have rage quit it, which is uh, pretty good, I guess, because you know it's uh, it saves saves me time. Because uh, I don't think uh, he would have come back in those last ten minutes anyway. And then uh, we go into the uh, the semi finals. As you can see now, it also uh, takes uh, a bit of a uh, a bit of time to search for an opponent again. 
as I uh, already said, there were not many people on. And uh, finally, we came up against this really poor squad. I don't know what this guy was doing. I don't know why he was in the semis, but he, uh, he had poor chemistry and he uh, didn't have really good players as well. So in the 10th minute, we took the lead here as uh, Benzema was throwing goal and uh, he puts in a goal at the near post again. Uh, good finish there. Then we got a corner, 30th minute, and Benzema again uh, applying the finish and putting it into the back of the net. Then, just before halftime, Jesus Navas and Kaká uh, set up the attack, the 1-2 with them, uh, with both of them. And uh, finally, it was Benzema who got his head on the ball and uh, put it into the back of the net again. So a uh, hat-trick for Benzema and my opponent uh, decided to... Uh, to rage quit after that again, so uh, you know, just before half time, uh, we uh, got another victory, and that is actually the third rage quit of the episode. And uh, with that 3-0 victory, we go into the uh, final game of the of the episode and also the final game of the cup. So, uh, you know, it, this, this was all the match. You know, we could uh, see if we would win it or not this match. That was all the question. We came up against uh, a guy with a Manchester United badge and both Manchester United kids. He had a uh, kind of a Spanish quote with Van Persie and Hernandez up front. Uh, I don't know why he was playing David Villa in center. I mean, that was a bit uh, weird. But uh, we, got the, uh, we took the lead. In the second minute, uh, again, a near post OP finish from Karim Benzema. And, uh, you know, an early lead for us. That is only good. Then, in the 22nd minute, it was Jesus Navas flicking the ball back over his defender. Then, uh, cutting uh, back outside with a fake shot. And applying a uh, finesse uh, finish. So, uh, he made it a 2-0. Then, uh, Chikorito here bursting his way through the defense only one or two minutes after my goal. And uh, he made it a 2-0. Oh, uh, no, wait, not 2-0, not what am I saying? He made it 2-1, sorry for that. But then it was David Villa on the ball, who did some nice skills, got past uh, two players, finally got taken out by the third, and uh, it, that, that's a penalty, of course, you know, PK with a, quite a bad challenge for him. David Villa steps up himself, and uh, he goes up and down the middle like we usually do with penalties. And he puts it into the back of the net. And uh, that gives us the 3-1 lead. Then David Villa again cutting inside. Uh, cutting back outside. You know, one more pointless roulette. And uh, he finishes and makes it 4-1. So, uh, you know, we were doing alright with the skills, I guess, um, in this uh, match. He wasn't a really, really good defender, to be honest. And um, almost straight after that goal, as you can see here, uh, we go pop. Put an over-the-top through to Benzema, uh, over-the-top through ball to Benzema, who did uh, two scoop turns uh, around the keeper and finally put it into the empty net, and he made it 5-1. Then Jesus Navas on the wing, sprinting down, uh, putting in a low cross. You know this one low driven cross where you, you triple tap uh, square, just a really nice cross in my opinion. And uh, Benzema puts it in with some kind of sliding tackle. Then Modric with some more skills, really, really nice. Uh, skills from the Croatian and he makes it 7-1 and then my opponent decided to uh, rage quit you know he had enough so that means we finally end the cup uh, you know with a victory and uh, that means we've won the cup with four rage quits so uh, that's been it for this episode guys uh, I hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like rating that will really pre appreciate it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for future episodes of this series and other FIFA series and without further ado I'll see you guys in my next video so uh, peace